Booth. Thank you. Um, Welcome everybody to another Chaos Ospo working group. Uh, Dawn is out today. She is sick for her Slack um, status, so I'll be driving this conversation. And we can get started with a new working group, UN Sustainable Development Goals. Um, there is a new working group for uh, Sustainable Development Goals. I don't know too much about this. Is anybody part of this working group or helped formed it that would like to talk a little more about it? We had our first meeting two days ago, I think. So um, David Lippert and Ruth Ikiga are the leads for the working group. Uh, there were folks from the UN, the WHO, um, what was the group in India? I didn't quite pick that one up. There's another India. group. Code.gov, I think, over there. Okay. Like that. Um, so there are a lot of, so basically the UN has, I don't know, 17 um, sustainable development goals that they're focusing on. And we're looking at helping them take a look at how technology rate plays a role in, um, yeah, I'll figure it out, Remy, here in a second. Um, uh, how technology plays a role in helping people achieve those SDGs. It's going to be quite a bit of work, um, but we're just really excited to get this going. And Michael Downey from the UN, uh, from the UN uh, is really excited as well. So just we'd love to have you join. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of different groups. I think we had 20 people on the call on Tuesday or Wednesday, whichever day it was. That's a lot of people to kind of get this rolling. So there seems to be a lot of interest from a lot of folks. Sure. So that's it. Absolutely, it feels like a rich topic. Uh, sustainability and development and tech these days is yeah, it's not pretty... everybody's top docket item. No, and of these 17 SDGs that they have, um, I think there's like, I don't know, 170. <laughs> like underlying components that comprise them. So it's going to be a lot to sort out, <laughs> uh, but we're just going to, we're hoping to do it, you know, just kind of in the chaos way, slowly but surely take our first steps towards helping folks think about this. Absolutely. Sounds exciting. Um, when is that? Do we have like a set time in the calendar? Yes. yes. It's Wednesdays. So it was yesterday. Okay. That seems like uh, uh, at 10 a.m. U.S. Central. Is it every other Wednesday or every Wednesday? It is. It's every other Wednesday. Okay. And we'd love to have you join if you have an interest in this. Awesome. I'm just going to drop a link to Chaos Calendar because I had to open it to make sure that I wasn't trying to join the wrong room. <laughs> Um, all right. And with that, uh, anybody else have comments about this working group? Any attendees? Anybody want to say anything about it? Okie dokie. Then let's move on to a security practitioner guide that got published. Um, joins guides for responsiveness, contributor sustainability, and, and organizational participation. I assume this is absolutely something that folks in this working group helped contribute to. And so I'm going to ask again if anybody has comments, things they'd like to share about the security practitioner guide or would like to talk a little more about it. This might be more Dawn's piece. She's been driving these. She's unfortunately out. Going once. Going twice. OK, three times. All right, uh, OSS Summit in EU in uh, Vivenna, or Vienna. Did anybody get a chance to attend that would like to talk about talks they got to go to, conversations they had, meetings they had as they pertain to the OSPO working group? Sophia, I saw you put your hand up. I mean, I was there, but I don't have a thought yet. I'm oh, okay. deficient in coffee, so I feel like I need a few minutes. Got it. Sophia gave a really great talk. I'll say that. Sophia gave the best talk, the really great talk. I only saw part of the conference, so it was the best talk I did see. Thanks, Sean. I didn't even know Sean was there, so. I, I snuck in about five minutes late because I got <laughs> lost finding the room. The venue was very confusing. It was like a giant circle and yeah. 
they would tell you to go left, but then left actually meant you would do the full circle and finally get to your room kind of thing. Yeah. <sighs> Love confusing conference directions. Was there anything at the conference that was like hot topic that people seem to be talking about a lot? Like every time you sat at a table, you're like, the brief, I'm talking about this again. Is something that happens to you? Less... Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, I felt less like that actually. Like I felt more like other, like older conferences where the conversations were more distributed. They were more topics of interest. Like security was still talked about, AI was still talked about, but they weren't really dominating anything. Um, I think. I, I also was just sort of over indexing on certain types of talks so that didn't help with my own sort of like focal point. Um, but I did really like uh, Gabriel Colombo's initial discussion. I don't necessarily agree with all of the things that were put forth, but this idea that we need to sort of continue to promote trust and open source and that a lot of our systems and trust are being compromised or more called into question. Um, and so acknowledging that without trust, we don't we won't continue to exist as a functional community. Um, there, I mean, in that particular case, the whole argument was for foundations. Um, but I, I also think that the element of trust was also coming up clearly a lot in things like security and attestation and identification and those sorts of conversations where you want to trust the people that you're working with. How do we create systems that allow you to build trust without necessarily requiring for full identification and allowing for still anonymous participation. So that was also a discussion that was happening in the security and supply chain security rooms as well. Um, but then again, that's my own sort of bias in the kinds of talks I was going to versus I'm curious what others saw in, in terms of what was a hot topic at the conference. Well, let me ask this, who else had the opportunity to go? was there, but I caught a bug and had to miss some of the conference. Unfortunately. Yeah, Jonathan, you're really hard to hear. At least for me. I am? No. Jonathan. Oh, okay. John, okay. Sometimes I hear Sean when somebody says John anything. Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think I was speaking. Do you mean me, John? Is there another Jonathan here? No, it's you. No. <laughs> you are oh, quiet. I was just speaking. Oh, okay. That wasn't me. I think that was York. Okay. Um, Sophia, on the trust, like, is it about trust? Um, like, what kind of, what? What is the trust? Like, trusting that a community will be around, trusting that people give me good stuff, trusting that somebody won't bail on a project? Um, kind of all the above. Like okay. I think from the, the Gabe's perspective, it was trusting in the project and the output of the project and the continued sustained output of the project. Whereas in the security conversations, a lot about trust of the individual and the individual asset. Um, and a lot of that is also like, how do you have tooling to, to do that for you? But also what, what do you need to understand about the individual that made it and how important is that? Okay. I was like, it might be related to some of the social engineering problems that we've had recently. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Georg, it sounds like you were starting to say something and then they got confused. No, I was saying I was also there, but I had to miss some of the conference. I spent a lot of time um, on Thursday in the Secure Open Source Software Community Day. Georg, it's like a little hard to hear you. I think your mic moved. Or... That is very possible. How is this? A little better, yeah. Okay. Yes, it's I still have podcast my podcast quality, but it's good. Okay. So if you want my podcast quality. <laughs> and now you cut out completely. All right. <laughs> there. Now we go full full on full microphone yeah i was i was there but i missed some of it because i caught a bug and thank you sophia for presenting our talk 
the without me the I went also to the secure open source software community day that the OpenSSF hosted the day after on Thursday. And there is a lot in, in the security space where my impression is just getting more people in open source aware of all the things that are available on what the CVEs on the openness of a scorecard on how do we promote those best practices. Um, it sounded very elementary in a lot of the talks that I saw. Like what? I want to know more. <laughs> uh, the the talks that I remember they were about the basics of how do we get the secure best practices into the awareness of the developers. Um, what are the common types of threats that we open up with insecure practices? Um, and I how do you avoid buffer overflows? How do you avoid uh, SQL injection? How do you um, show in a project that you have um, the testing, how do you set up the CI/CD pipelines, um, how do you check for known vulnerabilities, what databases are out there to even look in. So th there's a lot of basics that were covered. At least for me, I didn't really see anything new and exciting. The downfall of being well informed. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, um, I'm interested in the idea of trust and how we're going to handle it because I'm definitely feel like that's becoming a hotter topic as uh, I feel like a lot of uh, bigger companies are starting to think more about how they engage with open source and some are even contracting how much open source investment they're putting in. Like we see, um, I don't know, I, I, I hate to call out specifics because I think it's just a tough uh, situation economically for a lot of big companies right now. But I definitely notice that there's smaller and smaller OSPOs going around and in the OSPO working group, it feels like that matters. All right. Uh, Anne has her hand up. Oh, sorry, Chan. Go ahead. Yeah, and I would agree with you, Gary. Um, one of the things that, like, I would, if I usually get out of conferences, and I like to hear from folks who went to the Vienna conference, is um, if you had a chance to connect with other OSPOs um, outside of this group. Um, I think that's like the big thing I like to, I like doing and I didn't get a chance to do that this year, but curious if you all connected with other OSPOs and um, learn about if, if they could join this meeting perhaps, or if, um, you know, there's other things happening that are interesting to OSPOs. Maybe not. Yeah, I wasn't there, so I would answer if I could. All right. That's all good. So uh, Sauce Community Day featuring Chaos Metrics. Uh, Chaos Community just dropped in the chat, and it's impossible to know who that is. Uh, must be Elizabeth. Sorry, that was me. Oh, OK. I need to change my name. No worries. Is that uh, similar to the um, topics we were just talking about, or is that something extra that we haven't covered here? Uh, this takes a slightly different approach, and this was work Biturgia had done with the with ING Bank on how do we look at 
the risk in open source libraries that is consumed by the bank and taking the idea that there are code smells that identify where possibly vulnerabilities might be, but we can also use community smelts. So using the chaos community metrics to uh, create a risk score and analyze open source libraries at scale. So this was uh, a panel that we had together with Anna from the, the program manager of the to-do group and ING and Biturgia on this work. Very cool, yeah. Give that a watch, I'm going to, that's interesting. Thanks for sharing. All right, anything else uh, while we're on the topic of OSS Summit EU? Any other questions, thoughts, feelings? I have a quick question for Caleb. I mean, I will go watch the talk, but I was just curious yes. for a sense of scale. I see, can you share what that was for the project? Is so the, like... the bank, they have about 80,000 repositories that they need to scan and find open source projects in. And we mm -hmm. are figuring out right now how to scale Grimoire Lab to support that scale because it, Grimoire Lab does not currently scale to that, <laughs> that gigantic volume. Yeah, so I was kind of curious how you what, how you approached handling something that large. I guess I gotta go watch the talk, but that, that was a great plug because now I'm interested. So thanks for sharing that. Yeah, it's still to be solved. It's a big problem. Uh, yeah, definitely something I'm interested uh, as well, because it feels like tangential to um, code smells and community smells feeling a lot like what we're measuring in metrics models. Do you are you using specific metrics models in this talk or OK, maybe I just need to watch the talk. I'm curious. Um, other questions, other thoughts, feelings, hopes, or dreams we'd like to share about OSS EU before we move on. Alrighty, um, is Emma Irwin on the call? Because she had left a comment last time about the Microsoft dependency. Okay, I'm getting head nods so, or head shakes, so I think not. Um, we'll just pop it to next time. Uh, and then Grace Hopper Conference 2024, I think probably Elizabeth wants to plug our chaos presence there. I can. Um, we are hosting a workshop tomorrow. Um, I think it's like six and a half hours. So, yeah, <laughs> excited about that. Um, <laughs> but yes, you should join and yes, Sophia is speaking. Georg will, no, Georg will not be there. Georg will be there. Santi's not there. Gonna, you will be there. Um, and we have a, a lot of volunteers in the Chaos Project who are going to help out. Um, I have a link somewhere to the page, which I can put in the minutes if you are interested. I, I imagine most of you all know exactly what we're going to be talking about because it's going to be like, what is Chaos? Uh, how are you doing? So, yeah. But you should come anyway if you want. Uh, and I'm assuming you have to be like attending Grace Hopper to attend, right? Yeah, and I will also say that um, you will need to upload a, a, a government issued picture ID as well as a selfie, and they will compare to verify your identification before you're able to attend or speak or interact with that conference at all. So what? what? Like, oh. Did something? No, we don't need to get into that. Um, no idea. No idea. But that is a hoop that we are just through. Yeah. No. Um, very unfortunate that that's necessary, but also happy that they're doing it. Um, all right. Uh, and sorry, I'm seeing some things in the chat. I just want to make sure I capture. 
sign up to be a mentor for it now or in future events. And that's, uh, Remy, you just put your hand up. I assume that's for that. Um, nope, it's not. Okay, well, what is it for? Go ahead. Um, just wanted to give a quick plug for our very own Natalia Lozuriaga from the CMS Hospital. She's going to be speaking at Grace Hopper about her career journey, launching uh, the first open source program office at a federal agency in the United States. So if anybody is there at Grace Hopper and interested in OSPOs, uh, she'll be talking and chaos uh, is definitely mentioned. So just wanted to let the folks here know, thank you and uh, give you a heads up. It's fantastic. Uh, very exciting that she's mentioning us and also very exciting that she's giving that talk. Go to Grace Hopper, go to that. All right. Uh, next is the chaos community survey is open if you want. Yeah, I dropped that in there. If anyone wants to take that survey, we would really appreciate your feedback on how we can be, or I should say how we can continue to center diversity, equity, inclusion in the chaos project. So we'll just ask you a few questions about your experience here and things we can do better, things you wish we were doing, things that we're doing well, anything you want to tell us. So. Appreciate your time there. It is anonymous. I'm the only one that has access to the data and then we'll scrub that for some analysis later, but yeah. So be as candid as you like. We Fantastic. ran a second time we're running this survey and I think we made some pretty significant changes based on the feedback we got from the first survey just for ways that we were trying to best center DEI. I will say one piece of feedback last time was that we have a lot of meetings and we've actually added meetings <laughs> despite our best efforts. Like we keep trying to like bring it in, but. Right, like the, the UN knocks and they're like, can mm -hmm, we right? talk about the SDGs? And we're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. I think chaos has uh, 12, 12 to 13 meetings a week now. So yeah, that's a lot. I really like the Lyme survey format. It's. It's, it feels like a little cleaner, nicer user experience. Yeah, it's pretty nice. We used it last time too, and we open sourced the questions that we used because we um, had um, an audit from some external folks that are experts. So they helped us create the survey. And um, so we did release that uh, last time too, which is on our blog somewhere. If anybody's interested and they wanna run it in their own communities, let me know, I can point that to you, point you to that. I, can you just put it in the link? I'm curious. I want to put it in my Grace Hopper slides because I was talking about surveys. And I feel like that'd be a great example, but it might be too late to change my slides now. Oh, for tomorrow, you mean? Mm hmm I can mention it. Yeah, we can definitely mention it. If I like bring it up in a conversation, can you throw it in the chat or something? That's like really scrappy, but yeah, just because like. Um, I love having examples and I have one in there that I didn't like, so I took it out and I think this is a much better example. Sorry, I'm not using the meeting for my own purposes. I will stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time meeting preparation or <laughs> presentation pre preparing. <laughs> Seeding a let's plant in the audience, yes. <laughs> let's just review your slides, Sophia. Just want to start chatting. Um, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, um, said everything we need to say, I think, about the community survey. Sounds great. Uh, I will be filling it out. You should fill it out, too. Uh, and before, it looks like that is our agenda for this meeting. And before I say, please take 20 minutes of uh, your day back, I'd like to ask if there's any other topics or thoughts that came up during this meeting that we'd like to discuss. It's not on this meeting, but I just wanted to let everybody know that we're doing a giant audit of all the chaos metrics. So this is putting them in a new template and doing just editing on them themselves. Some of them were developed years ago. And if you've ever read things that you've written three years ago, sometimes you're like, oh my goodness, what was I trying to say? And so there are a number of us that are going through an audit and is a fairly large task. Let me tell you, but it's it's ongoing and, and we're dedicated to doing it. Awesome. 
And like, uh, what are the goals of doing that? Just bringing everything into the standard template more up to date? So one was, there's two things. Um, the template itself hides quite a bit of information. So the new template basically just describes what question the metric can address and gives you a description of kind of why you might want to use this metric. So that's really all you see now on a metric. But then we have a drop down that if you want to understand how you would go about implementing this metric or the tools that are available, you know, kind of how you could visualize these metrics, then you can take a look at that. It's a section called want to know more. So essentially our metrics were really, really long. And I think they were really overwhelming. So we just tried to reduce the visual, the first thing that you see to something that is a little bit more digest digestible for people. Yeah, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing that. And also Matt and I were bored. We just didn't have anything else to do. So we said, <laughs> hey, maybe we should just go through every 90 of the, of the 90 metrics. Let's just go through we'll them. meeting this afternoon to keep it going. <laughs> Is that uh, going to extend to metrics models as well? Do you yeah, want to we'll, kind of we'll shrink those? 27. So <laughs> right on time. All right. Well, keep your eyes peeled on the chaos website. It'll be so much smaller, but uh, so much easier to read. All right. It is uh, that time again to say goodbye. We'll see you again in two weeks. Thank you so much for coming to this iteration of the chaos Ospo working group. Bye everybody.